Bella and welcome to Beauty on the Budget and Empties time and I'm in my kitchen. I've tried to do empties so many different ways. Um, last time I was doing it with the photos, wasn't I? And um, but you seem to like me actually holding it up. Um, so I'll do that. But I thought I'd do it in the kitchen because the workspace is much bigger for me to, to do it out here. So we'll start. The first thing is the NSPA, which is Asta's, and this is the Mango and Passion Fruit Boogie Butter. This is lovely. Lovely smell. It's not my favourite boogie butter. My favourite boogie butter is the Body Shop one. Um, but that's a nice high street one. It's a nice one. Um, I've used that Marcella water, which I always use that one now. I've tried different ones. My skin just sets off. I stick to my Garnier. Um, I've used a day... How many of these have I used? Hmm. <laughs> I've used a day cream in my Q10. I love it, my Lagura one. Two night creams. It's been a while since I've done that. Empties, isn't it? Two night creams and I really love it. I love that make. I just love it. Um, this is the Alberta Balsam Coconut and Lychee. I don't know why I bought that. <laughs> I don't know why I don't just stick to the shampoos I know. There's something about me that has to keep trying different shampoos. Um, this is the Alberta Balsam, Alberta Balsam Coconut and Lychee. I don't like it. Um, it was at best in mind, dear. But um, if you've got a lot of hair, you need something, you know, bit, to sort of treat it a bit more. And especially because my hair's coloured, so it wasn't enough for that. Um, this is the Gum Care Denti Dentitex um, Gum Protect Mouthwash. I got that in uh, Home Bargains, I believe. It was okay, but I like the Listerine type. This, what I know, this is nice. This is a Bio Glow. I use this a lot. Um, and this was exfoliation, but this is a body exfoliator. So I use a lot of that, particularly in the summer when I'm, you know, I self tan my legs. I really like this one. And anything like body wise, Bio Glow, I, I recommend because they're really nice. I love all their products. This is the Vitamin E Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. It's my favourite eye makeup remover. It's really the only one I use now. Um, I was using coconut oil for a long time, but I just found that was... I don't know if it's whether I got older or... Um, it just didn't seem to suit me anymore. It's making my eyes a little bit puffy. So I've gone back to this, my favourite one. I've used it for years and I really like it. This is the Expertise, um, Style Expertise, which is Asda's, um, sorry, this is Style Expertise Spray, which is Super Drugs, um, and it's for, it's like a setting lotion, but so what I do is, um, if I'm going to curl my hair, and I don't want to use heat, and I've got my big rollers in, then I just spray on top with that. It kind of holds it, but it doesn't go that mega stiff, crispy. It's really nice. I really like that one. It's a nice one. I've bought a mousse at the moment to do it, and I don't like it. I don't like the mousse. Um, it's Pantene. It's a nice make, and it's not damaging my hair. I just prefer the spray. I'm not, I'm not keen on the setting mousse now. Um, another mouthwash. This one is Oral Care. That was nice. That was better than the last one. None of them were bad, but I still prefer my Listerine. Uh, another shampoo. These were nice, guys. These were nice. This is the Herbal Essences um, Shampoo and Conditioner, and this is the Hello Hydration. They were nice, guys. They were nice. I liked those. I would repurchase that. I like that make. The next thing is, oh, now, I can't sing the phrases enough, you know this, guys. This is the pack that I picked up in the States, but I've bought them now and I've ordered another two. 
They are so good. The Neutrogena Hydra Boost Cleansing Wipes. It's the Hydra Boost. Excellent. I love them. Oh, I found another day cream. Um, this was, sorry guys, this is a day cream that I was using, but well it's a gel. You know the set that I like from, uh, let's see, I've got some, another one here. This is the scrub, the vitamin E scrub, the one that I get from um, Asta. I really like the scrub, I like this make. I've got the, uh, the face wash I'm using at the moment. I really do like this make. Um, this is a vitamin C gel moisturizer it was really nice it was really really nice but i tend to stick to my um the cura my data for my daytime moisture and vitamin c i i use um well i've got, you've got one used up here this is the art naturals i like this make too guys art naturals um you can get from amazon and it's it's a really nice make. It, I really thoroughly enjoyed that one, and I will repurchase that one definitely. What else do I have here? Oh, a face wash I used up. That's um, Garnier. Very nice. I would definitely use that again. This is Bo Five Mega Hold. Now this is another one of those holds that um, you know, like I said. I don't want to use the mousse, I'd rather have the spray kind of gel kind of hold. Um, and this is another one of those by BO5, it's a mega hold. It's nice, it does the job, but I found it dried my hair out a little bit. And I can't really afford that as I was saying, because these colours are long. Um, so it was nice, but I wouldn't buy that one again. This is the Malibu Lotion. High Protection Miracle Tan, with Miracle Tan, that's just, um, it's not actually a self-tanner. But I do like the Malibu makes of um, SPF, but I've got Neutrogena now, and I really like Neutrogena. I've, I've really just found them, you know, guys. It's, it's very recently that I found Neutrogena, but I am really, really liking them, really liking it. Um, so I've had that a little while now. I was using that one mm, since the summer, really, because she only needs a little bit. But um, no, I've got. I prefer my Neutrogena one now. This is the Crichton's Pink Grapefruit Face Wash. I got that one in uh, Primark. It's nice. I wouldn't buy it again. Um, but it's, it's not bad. I'm not saying it's a bad one. It's just not up there with the list of ones. I like the one from this company. This is CN, which is Lidl's. And it's their nail polish remover. Now, I never got this. So, <laughs> I thought, when I bought it, I thought it was one of the ones that you do. You know what I like? What you dip your finger in in the, the pad and it, it comes off. I like that one. I use that all the time. Well, I thought that was one of these, but it's not. When you open it up, it's a you put your pad on there and then squish it down and a little bit of nail bite <laughs> comes up. You know, can imagine the mess I got in with that. Um... No, I didn't like. I don't like that concept at all. Uh, this one is Beverly Hills Formula Active Charcoal. I love charcoal toothpaste now. Baz loves it too, so we'll probably be sticking to that in one make or another. This is a face wash. This is really nice, guys. It was the Olay Regenerous one, and this has got a slight exfoliation to it. It's a nice one, that. It's meant for the mature skin, and I quite liked that one. I'm always trying different face washes. I would use this one again. My all-time favourite CeraVe. Um, that's the Pantene. I love Pantene hairsprays. I've really tried to stick to them now. I'm Pantene or Tresemme. 
it's a nice one and it doesn't dry your hair out and it doesn't make your hair look like a big crust it just it, your hair still flows i've got it on today it still flows but um you know it holds in place so i really like that one this was the shampoo that i used uh, a conditioner i don't know what happened to the shampoo guys i always use things together but anyway, <laughs> this is an LV conditioner by L'Oreal. Yes, I'd buy that again. That was quite nice. I liked that. And since I'm so fussy with shampoos, that's got to say something. What else have I got in there, guys? Ah, this is a heat dispense spray. I always use heat this. <laughs> I don't know what's the matter with me this week. I always use heat defense spray um, when I'm using a dryer, which is really, or tongs, or um, heated rollers, or anything. I I always use a heat defense spray, and you know Tracy May's my make, so that's great. Definitely buy that again. This is a Futex nail varnish remover. What I did with this one is, you know, the bottle I use. Um, you, you must have seen them. You put your finger in, and it's like a sponge inside, and the nail varnish, the sponge wipes and gets your nail varnish off. I just top it up with that. I just top it up with that. You know, when it's. I tip the, the, the one out that's been, I've been using for ages, and the, sometimes you think, oh my goodness, how did that ever clean my nails? It's, it's red or whatever colour you've been using. And I just. Top, squeeze the sponge, you can't wet the sponge, just squeeze the sponge and then I just top it up with that. So that goes uh, another little while. Um, I've said one of these, I've got another one, eye makeup remover, guys. That's the second one I've got in there, isn't it? Uh, let's have a look at some serums. Let's get the serums out next. Oh, goodness, how many of these have I got? Okay, so I've used up this month Caffeine from The Ordinary. I use them every month, use one of them. Like I said, my eyes have got a lot better. I mean, you can still see, if I screw them up, you can still see I've got like, the bags, but the real darkness is gone. No, I'm pleased with that. This was one I bought um, from Primark, and it was an uh, aloe vera. I liked it. It was aloe vera oil. Nice. Um, I used it in, in my routine when I put my oils on. I wouldn't buy it again because it, it didn't really do anything special more than any other oil that I use. Um, so I wouldn't go looking for it. Um, this one is was 10 years younger. I like this. Um, there's... A com that used to be programmed in the UK called 10 Years Younger. I don't know if you remember it. They're always repeating it. And it, it's really good. I really enjoy the show. And they run a... The show's finished. It's been finished for some time. But they do some skincare. They do their own skincare line. And I like this one. That's 10 Years Younger. That's a kind of um, all singing, all dancing oil, you know. <laughs> It does a, a little bit of everything. Got a little bit of everything in it. And it's nice. I'd buy that again. This is the last hyaluronic acid I used. Can you see the make, guys? Because I can't. <laughs> it's one that I got off of um, Amazon. And it's nice. I like it. Um, as long as, it, you know, the higher hyaluronic acid is the type that I'm looking for and as stipulates the things that I'm looking for in a hyaluronic acid then then that's fine I bought from Amazon um I bought from the ordinary I like um art naturals I really like art naturals guys they're they're really good mate the next thing is the Nivea anti-cellulite cream I think a lot of us tried this I and mean, it was meant for sort of the puffy areas here um, I tried it, I've been trying it for a while and it, it really doesn't make a lot of difference to me. I'm sure some people it does, I'm sure it really works with some people. Everything I say, as I've said before, is only me, it's only the, you know, the results that I'm getting. But I know a lot of people like that, but it's not for me, there's still quite a bit in there. Um, 
I've used my dragon's what is it? Snake venom <laughs> under eye moisturizer. I've used that for ages. That along with the caffeine is what's got you know my eyes better. Not perfect, not perfect, but a lot better than they were. Um, this is a W7 primer. You can see hardly any of that has gone. It's a silicone primer and it's um, meant to be due for the Smashbox one. Um, no, I'm not keen on this at all. I'm a big W7 fan, you know I love them. But this, no, no, I don't like this at all. It's not nice. It's just, I like silicone primers. I like the feel of a silicone primer. But this one is, is too heavy and it leaves your skin with a, like a film. And I don't like that. So, no, that's, that's not one for me. I won't buy that again. Pencils. I've got a Revolution pencil, eyebrow pencil that was too dark. I've got a lip twister in the pink. And I've repurchased that. I've got two. As you know, I love the W7 Lip Twisters and this is the Avon Brow, the Avon Brow Pencil, tiny little bit there, I couldn't just put that on there, just rub against my my brow, but like it very, very much, I like that Avon Twisty one, very, very nice, highly recommend that one, and this is one from Revlon, I believe, but is it Revlon or Revolution? This is the Revolution one, and it's gone really dry and patchy. Can you see it? it when you put it down, and like it mi misses, it bounces and skips, and didn't at first, but it has it. So that's going nearly there, guys. I bought um. These were Flawless Pearls from Avon. Finishing powder, no, they're still in there. I didn't like it at all. Um, it looked cakey on my face, maybe because, you know, I'm older and everything, but the Avon Pearls, and no, I didn't like those at all. They, they're definitely not for me. I've used up a... Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. I've used, I've lost count the amount of those I've bought, guys. It's a standard in, in my collection, and you know, I in my stash, I've got, I've always got one of them on the go. I like this one very, very much. Okay, so my last thing is a powder foundation that I bought from L'Oreal to um, review for you, and I, I did. I put a video up of one of my you know, foundations on a Friday. It was this one. Do you remember me doing this one, guys? Um, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I'm still not 100% about powder foundations. I think I need something a little bit fresher on my face now. Um, I'm not 100%. But... If I had to have a powder foundation, I think this would be one that I, I, I'd go to, you know, one I wouldn't mind using, but mm, I wouldn't rush out to buy it purely because it's a powder foundation. Um, if you like powder foundations and your skin can hold a powder foundation, then I would recommend this. I would say this is a nice one, but for someone who doesn't really go for that, um... Maybe my opinion is a bit, is it biased the word that I just don't like powder foundations. They don't really work for me. But I wanted to test them out. I'm trying to test different ones out for you, which is why I got it. I used it up. I used it up. And I didn't like the application. Do you remember it had that net on top that you put the brush shield in one day? So I won't be buying that again, guys. And that is it. No, ah, oh no, I've got one little perfume bottle, tiny little bottle like this that I got a gift with something else that I bought, and it was for Sarchi's White Diamonds, and I loved it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so that is definitely it. No more empties. Um, I haven't done one for a while, have I? Because we're up in a way and bought different things. So that's my empties for this month. 
Um, I see how I go next month. I don't want to, you know, keep bringing you the same things all the time. So maybe I'll do them every couple of months. Um, but as soon as I've got enough that I think will interest you, I'll come and do another one. So you take care of yourselves. I'll see you in my next video. And thanks for supporting me, guys. Thanks for supporting me. Bye now. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.